Hi, I'm Tara Shah with Comment is Law. It's now the last day of the INSA conference, and as you can see, we can finally see the light at the end of the tunnel after day after day of rain. Many attendees that come to this conference are from all over the world. Comment is Law is primarily Asia focused. However, we were able to catch up with Rob Deans from Clyde & Co. to get his perspective on some of the new uh, provisions and uh, mechanisms in place in the UAE. Hi, I'm here with Rob Deans, Head of IP in the Middle East with Clyde & Co. How are you today? Very good, thank you. I have a couple of questions for you. My first um, question has to do with the new draft law. Um, my understanding is there is a new draft law in the UAE that deals with the export of seized counterfeit goods. Can you share with us some of the highlights about this draft law? Yeah, sure. There's a uh, draft law which uh, came out originally in uh, uh, March last year, uh, and that's been going through the, the process in Dubai, or the UAE rather, for the last 12 months. It was recently passed by the FNC, which is our parliament, uh, and during that process, two key provisions have been uh, amended. Uh, the first, which wasn't there originally, uh, the draft law didn't deal with uh, lookalikes. Uh, now it has done, that was uh, put in by the FNC, by the Parliament in, I think, March. And since uh, it passed through the FNC, it looks like we've got re-exportation, which was a key uh, element of the law, uh, allowing the re-exportation of counterfeit goods. Uh, that provision is now out, uh, and it looks like uh, uh, counterfeit goods can no longer be re-exported uh, under that draft law. And when do you expect this draft law to go into effect? Uh, that's very, very, very difficult to say. The uh, the draft law that I can use maybe as a comparison is the company's law. Um, that was passed by the FNC in, I think it was May last year. Um, that is now back with the Ministry for uh, further amendment consideration and will go off to the, the ruler in due course. That, has, that, that process has not yet been completed with the company's law. Um, and with the draft uh, anti commercial fraud law dealing with the counterfeits, uh, that's now back with the Ministry. And frankly, we don't know how long it's going to take uh, to come into law. I want to turn our focus to social media. It's been a theme here uh, that's been discussed throughout the conference. You know, social media seems to have created a new platform for online counterfeiters, and it's a problem that uh, we specifically hear about in Asia, or especially here in Asia and other parts of the world. Do you see this becoming a problem in the UAE as well? Uh, well, first I suppose it is a global problem. Uh, anywhere in the world uh, that can access the internet, including the Middle East, will have problems with counterfeits. Uh, what we tend to see more of in the Middle East is uh, still with the Arab Arab Arabization, if I can say it, uh, of, of the internet uh, and the extent to which brand owners look at their brands and the content in Arabic. Um, and on a lighter note, will we see you at the closing ceremonies at Disneyland tonight? Yeah, I was there a couple of years ago with my family and uh, I'll certainly be there. It's a great place to host closing ceremonies, yeah? Oh, oh yeah, uh, it's absolutely fantastic venue, and I've heard uh, the conference has got it to itself, which is uh, really quite something. And one last question for you, will we see you in my hometown, San Diego, next year for the INTA conference? Uh, yeah, I was uh, at San Diego last time around, I'll be there uh, this time around as well, for sure. Excellent, thank you so much for your time, Rob, I do appreciate it. Brilliant, thank you. I'm here with Andrew Scale, one of the attendees here at the INTA conference. How are you today? Very good. How are you, Tara? I'm excellent. Well, it's the final day of the conference, and I'm sure you're looking forward to next year's conference, which is going to be in beautiful San Diego. Can you tell us from your experience in San Diego, uh, what are some of the things, apart from the conference, that attendees can expect to do or see while there? Well, there is an unlimited number of things you can do in San Diego. Of course, the world-famous beaches exist, so anyone could enjoy the, the surf and sand. The Gas Lamp District is a fantastic place for restaurants, for bars, for nightlife, and that's just walking distance from the convention center. I'm a big fan of the Padres, and I'm hoping they'll be in town and maybe it'll be a game that people can enjoy. Uh, there's the world-famous zoo, which uh, I would encourage all attendees to go to, and if they can actually make it out to the Wild Animal Park, uh, or which is um, only a short 30 minutes away in Escondido, on top of SeaWorld or Disneyland, which is only about an hour and a half away. Uh, so I, I, I encourage all attendees to try to explore San Diego while they're there. And I can personally attest to the fact that the Padres is an amazing team, definitely a fan, and that San Diego is a very beautiful city. Thank you so much for your time. We do appreciate it, and I hope we see you at next year's INTA conference. 
Definitely, thanks. It's the end of the final day of the conference here at the INTA meeting. Um, hopefully you enjoyed our coverage, our daily updates as well. Um, we hope to see you next year in San Diego at the 2015 INTA conference.